human cyborgs. Nothing but fantasy or a potential reality. How long can a human being live for? For thousands of years, people sought to find an elixir of eternal life to halt nature's ticking clock. The subject has returned to the stage once more in the 21st century. This time, scientific laboratories are joining the hunt. But instead of seeking a fountain of youth, they are focusing on the power of technology to achieve immortality. This is one of the formulas designed for the fight against aging. The substance is called the Skulachov Ion. It is named after its creator, Vladimir Skulachov. He heads the Department of Genetic Engineering at Moscow State University. We first suggested this idea in 1972, but it was not until 2005 that we put the whole formula of age fighting on paper. According to Dr. Skulachov, oxygen is, of all things, one of the most dangerous substances in the human body. He says that when cells become oversaturated with active forms of oxygen, they become oxidized, and this leads to an early death. The body produces poisons. One of the most malicious poisons is generated at the heart of each cell, in the mitochondria. On the one hand, they supply the body with energy. On the other, they gradually kill us. The older we are, the more poison we have in our bodies in the form of free radicals. Some time ago, Maxim's father came to the conclusion that there is a mechanism which makes cells age. He theorizes that a new biological process is set in motion immediately after a mother gives birth. This process makes the body destroy itself. Given that aging is programmed, it can be stopped like any other program. In that case, ailments characteristic of old age will be nipped in the bud. We won't age. This unique footage taken by a digital microscope reveals the nature of human mortality. In the second minute of the video, a sudden flash marks out a dying cell, setting off a chain reaction that kills off nearby cells. A death signal is received by neighboring cells in this experiment. They realize that the cell died only a moment ago. Its death was not accidental, rather it was the result of a process. The signal went right across this tiny island of cells. It's really quite an unusual sight. Dying of old age was uncommon in ancient times. People would usually fall victim to wild beasts or their enemies. But later, people came to believe that immortality could be found in faraway lands. The Arab scientist Ibn Battuta learned about a fountain of youth in China. Alexander the Great believed that it was in India. One theory claims that the real reason he undertook his famous campaign in the Indian subcontinent was to look for the waters of life.